Hey guys, Revamp here, and I am here. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be working on an Xbox One. Uh, this was my first time working on one, and I pretty much got a little ripped off. Uh, dressed down a lot for this repair, it was very messy. And the final products ended up coming out pretty nice, but there was one small hiccup. Again, let me give you some quick advice on buying off of eBay. If something looks a little too good to be true, or there's not too many pictures, or a very small description, don't buy it. Because typically you're going to end up getting ripped off. I'm probably going to be stuck with this Xbox One, unless anybody wants to buy it. But it was about $70, so I'd be selling it for around $70. Granted, you'll see at the end of this repair, uh, the fan works, the hard drive works, the board turns on, and uh, no further testing was really done just because of my internet connection at the moment. If you're interested, just shoot me some messages, otherwise I'm either going to keep it for myself or somewhere down the line I'll put it up for sale on... This is one dusty mamajama. Looks like it's time to bust out the turbo switch. Nah, just kidding. I just uh, spent a lot of time making it, so I thought it'd make a cameo appearance. So uh, all I'm pretty much going to be doing is disassembling the Xbox. I'm not going to do it for you and narrate it, mostly because I did it and my camera didn't save any of that footage. So we're going to watch a quick, quick, quick breakdown. Looks like another one bites the dust. No, really, that is one large dust bunny right there. This right here is the electrical equivalent of writing wash me on a car. There is going to be a lot of brushing in this video. It's because I do not have one of those commercial grade ultrasonic baths. Uh, right here, I'm just touching up some capacitors and then right back to cleaning. Um, if you're doing this commercially, I do recommend buying one of those baths so you can clean and submerge your board. This board is shiny like a new Cadillac. This is a radiator. Keeps your board toasty in the winter. Just kidding, it's just a heat sink. It actually does the opposite. Uh, I'm just cleaning off the hard drive. Very dusty. Um, previous owner's mother would not be happy with this one. It's pretty obvious what I'm doing here, so I think I'm just going to keep making bad jokes and show you why I can never be a successful comedian. Hey, random plastic part. I'm also a big fan for the Xbox. <laughs> Sadly, that's really the only joke I got. That is one clean fan. This little syringe is thermal paste. Now watch closely as I apply way too much on this integrated circuit. Oh, perfect. Way too much. Yep. Now I'm going to put the heat sink on top of it and let this paste go all over the chip. Nice. Just putting back the Xbox together. Uh, while I'm doing this, how have you been? Uh, any... How about that weather? It's been crazy, right? Yeah. What time is it where you live? Uh, is it? What are you doing up this late? Yeah, probably... Probably nothing if you're watching these videos. Um, that is just the Wi-Fi chip. Uh, typically it gets Wi-Fi. I'm not going to really get into detail about it. Eh, just putting the Xbox together. Uh, clearly this Xbox broke due to a fall and the sync button over here actually broke. So I tried many stupid ways to fix it. And the first was to melt the button back onto the front face plate. Uh, this was very embarrassing, so I'm going to share you the boring video about it. I will, however, show you this embarrassing failure. Um, this is an attempt to actually splice the cable and jump a button on the ribbon cable. So I cut off the ribbon cable and I used the X-Acto knife to start peeling off the top layer. And since I'm not too familiar with the latest technology, I found out that these cables are really not that reliable, and I was scraping off the top layer. I'm not sure what it is, but 
I did look a little into it, and it's some type of a solder paste or conductive paste that allows continuity without taking up any space and providing a flexible cable. However, this is actually what broke the Xbox, was that when it fell, the cable just came out of the port, which would have been an easy fix, but there was a lot of damage to the housing. I'm going to save you the hours of video. Um, pretty much my soldering iron is going to burn right through the ribbon cable like it's not even there. But I didn't give up. I kept trying and the same result kept happening. So I just decided I was going to have to hardwire a uh, cable directly to the board. So this is the port that the ribbon cable actually slipped out of, ooh la la. And I'm trying to figure out where the sync button, which pins it touched on that port. Because those are the pins I'm going to solder the button directly to. So this Xbox will still be able to do that sync function with a new button. This took a lot longer than I am proud to admit. I'm really starting to think this Xbox was like dropped out of an airplane or something with all these dings and scratches on it. Yep, you're seeing it correctly. I'm glue gluing this button to the side of the Xbox because at this point I'm just done. I'm I'm just done. I'm just I'll just be impressed if it turns on. I don't know what else to do at this point. And now we're going to see if it turns on. For this last clip, I'm leaving on the original audio because I want you to see that it actually turns on. And then we're just going to test out the sync function. So when I push this blue button, we should see the logo flash. That's so it can find any controllers. And it's, it's a very loud button, but it works. So that's all I'm asking for. And... I guess that's it for now. I'll probably never sell this thing because it's really not that attractive, but I've seen crazier things happen. Oof. That repair is finally done. I'm wearing new glasses. These are those blue light filter glasses. That's why you could see the the blue from the screen out them. The computer screen is a lot brighter. <laughs> so as I stated, I don't think I'm going to be able to sell, sell that Xbox anytime soon because I would really buy it. I'm if this video helps you in any way, that's great. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm, I'm up to two now, which is pretty cool. But um, unfortunately, I'm having trouble selling my stuff because I tried the bulk, like the bulk function off eBay and I just don't think it's as popular with the sellers because they can't see the pictures on the systems. One of the comments I've been getting is what's the condition of the screen, um, what repairs did you do to this refurbishing, and with the bulk function you can't really list each individual system but it's a lot quicker to list them. So. I'm going to play around with different ideas. If I find a solution, I'll I'll share it with you guys. And in case any resellers watch these videos, because a lot of my sales have been to people that clearly run game shops, because I'll see the same people buying like four or eight of my systems, which either, you know, you're the father of the Brady Bunch or you're running some type of game shop. I'm hoping to make some more videos about eBay selling, but it's just, when you think of my channel, you, you don't really think, hey, let me go here and watch videos on how to sell on eBay, but I'll gladly share my advice. All right, so thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought. If you have anything else you'd like to see me repair, just uh, send me a message.